Jennifer Garner and I make a great team, don't you think? Yes, I do. And she's not nervous. She's a really good cook. Mm -hmm. And she is a really good actress. So, Martha, my camera guys were so excited that I was coming to see yes. you. They wanted me to tell you that it would be a good thing if you would come and be on Alias. Anytime, just invite me. Martha Stewart, you are invited. Okay. I'm so not kidding. Good. Wouldn't that be fun? Come on, put your spy shoes on. I have, oh, I have a closet full of spy <laughs> shoes. I know you, you do. Yes. <laughs> you would not even believe the shoes. I have a green alligator slick. Perfect. Yes, okay. That is perfect. Okay, Pack green em. alligator. What are you doing next week? Come on. Uh, actually, I'm coming to L.A. <gasps> Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, what are so we, we doing have to here? get to right. the cranberry We've got to glaze. Keep on yes. plan. Okay. So you have melted some butter and this and is some just, shallots. Um, a little bit of shallot, half a shallot, and one tablespoon of unsalted butter and two sage leaves. And we're cooking those just until the shallots are translucent. The I'm glaze is going to give this gorgeous lacquered turkey a really beautiful deep color and a wonderful flavor. And then we're going to add to this um, juniper berries, one teaspoon. And this is what flavors gin. Did you know that? No. They're really pretty. Where do you get them? Uh, oh, spice jar. Look under J they, in the in supermarket. My, my oh, yes. Stewart spices? Oh, yes. I have them. Juniper berries. Definitely. I wasn't aware. One cup of fresh cranberries. Two thirds of a cup of pure maple syrup. Now, do you love maple syrup? Absolutely. Oh, I love mm -hmm. it. Yes. And see, she doesn't waste either. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. And then two thirds of a cup of apple cider. And then you can add red currant jelly. That's a half a cup. A little bit, of course, salt, just like a quarter of a teaspoon. So this cooks for about two or three minutes. Now, tell me about your new movie, 13 Going on 30. That is a comedy that I made last summer, and it's coming out this May, next May. And it's, um, it's, a, it's basically big, but about a girl. It was so much fun, oh, and I, I had tons of sleepovers with 13-year-olds to kind of remind myself what it was like, because it's been a little while. <laughs> and... They are, the, the, the complicated thing about being 13 is you really are both. Oh, yes. You're really you're a grown-up grown up. and you're really a kid. So it, it was great. So, Jennifer, you can just pour that right into the blender Left -handed, jar. Left-handed. Whatever way. I'm going to have to move. You just do it whatever way you need to do it. See, I told you she was good in the kitchen. Look at that. So now you can blend that. Now, this is really hot. Uh, just cover this over with... A towel. I've never done that before. Well, does yours have a removable top? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. So if it has that, just pull it out. Because, okay, I'll just hold it. You can just... Hot liquids tend to go... Yeah. Right, right. I think that's fine. And um, a little bit of splatter, see? And mm -hmm. you don't want to get Perfect. that on you. That's so smart. And so this can come out. And then we strain this. And it does smell good. Oh, it smells so so you can just press that through. Mm -hmm. And then you reduce that um, over low heat just for, oh, 10 minutes or so. And this is what you get. Look, it's almost like a cranberry jelly. Uh -huh. It is time now to take the turkey out of the oven. Wait till you see how it looks. The cheesecloth was removed about 30 minutes ago. And here is the bird. Now, I never have enough pan juices. Oh, well, look how many you have here. That's because you have been basting with one whole bottle of white wine and the butter. And so that's your, those are your pan juices. Look that's your gravy. Well, I'm going to show you how to make the gravy okay. later. Right. So here, you can glaze the turkey. Um, put a lot of glaze on, and you put that into the oven again for 10 minutes, and then take it out and glaze it again. Okay. So use all. Just real lightly so it goes on thick. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, see, and you know it's going to be a good turkey. Oh, I can't stand it. Don't forget any part of it, because you don't want to have any white. You want all the skin to be kind of a pinkish red. So this goes back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Glaze it again, mm -hmm. another 10 minutes or so, and the turkey looks like this when it comes out. So you can put... Oh, wait, I have to get you some pot holders. Okay. You can put... The, that turkey in for 10 minutes, and I'll take this one out. It's like magic, you know. Movie magic. You're used to that. Yep. So here's our finished bird. 
I love the color. It's dark and beautiful. It just looks yes. like it would taste good. With that and on it. in the bottom of the pan, we're going to deglaze and get that fabulous gravy. And there it is. Mm -hmm. You're going to do this. Let's do it. No, you're going to do it on Thanksgiving. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. I'll write okay. you and let you know all so about it. I want a it. picture. Not a problem. Of the table, of your guests, of Not you, of Martha Stewart, the Don't dog. Worry. Martha Stewart <laughs> will Everyone. be in attendance. Thank you very Whether much. Whether you're there or not.